let's get into this first article. I'm going to reverse this one. Layoffs and hiring freezes are sweeping across industries from automotive to big tech, even as the overall job market remains strong. So numbers are coming out, guys, but you're starting to hear that layoffs are happening. Matter of fact, you go on LinkedIn, you're starting to see a lot more people. You're starting to see a lot more people looking for job opportunities if they're in tech. Last week, Tesla Elon Musk called for a pause on our hiring worldwide, right? The online car dealer Carvana laid off about 12% of his workforce. 2,500 affected employees were informed through a Zoom call. Meta, right? Facebook's parent company implemented a hiring freeze. Uber, they announced plans to slow hiring. Coinbase, Coinbase, who I use to manage some of my cryptos that I own. Talked about scaling back and revoking job offers. So for many of you who were interviewing with co companies like Coinbase and you got a job offer and told your other company that you're done, you told your other company that you're working for that you're done, well, Coinbase went back and rescinded job offers, guys. Damn! Just imagine being in that position. Just imagine being in that position where you put in all the work like a brother Marvin is doing. You're going on multi these multiple interviews, crushing it. All of a sudden, you get an offer. And then a couple of days later, you don't hear anything. Right? Nobody's asking you when you're going to start. And then you get this phone call. You get this phone call from HR. Mr. Wade, we have to rescind our job offer. We're slowing hiring. Damn! So now you're left without a job. Now you're left without a job. Now you may not have the insurance to deal and take care of your family or yourself to go and get those physical checkups yearly. Now you're entering a job market where there's a whole bunch of uncertainty. Well, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Coinbase is scaling back on their hiring and revoking job offers to some candidates who have yet to start. Unilever, the consumer goods company that owns brands such as Ben & Jerry's, Dove, Vaseline, is cutting 1,500 global management jobs. Damn! And with all these job cuts, with all these job cuts, I must say that the numbers, the numbers from the national unemployment, it still remains pretty low. It still remains pretty low because the U.S. added 390,000 jobs in the month of May, which is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. It's just some companies, some companies, those companies that were exploding doing that pandemic, things are starting to get slow. M many of the small unicorns, they did what Target did. And they did it in a way, in a tech sense. Target, they spent more money on inventory that people don't want, thinking that sales were going to continue to be the way it was during a pandemic where people had more time to go and shop. Well, now they're reducing the prices on all this stuff to get new stuff, new products in the store. Well, some of these tech companies, some of these tech companies, some of these smaller tech companies, they hired more during this time as well, too. And now they're seeing that they have too many people because things are slowing down. So they're getting rid of people. Damn! So even though we are in some uncertainty, Many companies are still hiring. Many companies are still hiring. And let me tell you this. If you are interested into sales, this is a good time because there are over 400,000, 400,000 sales roles that are open today. That's why I talk about tech sales. That's why I talk about sales in general. If you 
can get some sales experience, especially into tech, you're going to pretty much always have a job because companies need people to be able to sell their products and services so that they can continue to grow revenue. Now, sales isn't for everyone, but if you want to make some good amount of money, get, learn some skills that can transfer to you becoming an entrepreneur one day, I say give it a shot. And you're going to want to give it a shot. You're going to want to give it a shot by checking out Course Careers. Course Careers is a boot camp for sales individuals or for in individuals who want to get into sales with or without a degree with or without a degree they are training you up work with you to get you ready to go into the market to get hired to become an sdr which is a sales development rep or a business development rep if you're interested into going into tech sales whether you have a degree or not and you're wanting to try your teeth into sales check out course careers the link is in the description of this video Use the code Antoine50 that'll give you a good $50 discount on signing up for the, the course. But it's a way that you can get into sales with or without a degree. So even for people who are in college, who don't know what they want to become yet, don't have any internships, look into purchasing this course because if you can gain the skills before you get out of college, you can enter the workforce with already sales experience. Once you become pretty good at becoming an SDR or BDR and prove yourself, you can become an account manager or account executive and so forth, a technical account manager like our brother Simon and our brother Damien is getting ready to be. You can make a good amount of money. So check out Course Careers, guys. Check out Course Careers. The link is in the description of this video if you have an interest into tech sales. But let's switch back over to the topic. If you end up getting laid off, if you end up getting laid off, maybe you were serious about your career. Maybe you weren't. But let's just say you weren't serious about your career. Nobody knew what you wanted to do. You did good work. You did the good work, but nobody knew you. Nobody knew who you were. You didn't toot your own horn. You didn't prove yourself to be super valuable to the company. Right? Now you know. Now you know the things that you need to do. And you have a resource that you can reach out to that can help you in that area. Again, book a coaching session, a career empowerment session. Either one of those will get you the information you need in order for you to become serious about your career. And if you end up getting laid off, here are some of the things that you can do and you should do if it happens to you. And the first thing, you need to be doing is to making sure you contact your HR department so that you can get access to the documents that you need. And one of the things that you're going to need to ask for, one of the things that you need going to need to ask for is the employer identification number. And you're going to be able to see this on your W-2 statement, paychecks and so forth. You're going to need to know who you need to reach out to for in your HR email or phone call because you may need additional documentation. You're gonna need the EIN number of your company that furloughed you. You're going to need to visit the unemployment office in the state that you're in or the website of it. They're gonna tell you the things that you're gonna need in order for you to be able to get the unemployment that you need to sustain somewhat of the lifestyle that you have until you can find another job. But hopefully, hopefully you got some reserves. Hopefully you got some reserves because you're financial, financially responsible. You may just have to scale back just a little bit, but you got some reserves. Hopefully you have some reserves. And if you don't, you need to be putting some aside. Watch Pocket Watching with JT the wonderful and great financial advisor, wonderful show. I get a chance to watch JT at least once a week. And he's giving people the advice of how to 
rely on yourself when something happens in your life. In this economic downturn, some of the things that you can do to set yourself up find it to be financially stable and so forth. But make sure you have some reserves. Unemployment, some of your reserves should be able to help you out. But some of the documentation you're going to need is your social security number, driver's license number, mailing number, phone number, employer's EIN number. You're going to have to ask your employer about health insurance. That's important. That's important. You guys saw the bill. The bill, $229,000. You're going to have some have some really good health insurance, guys, with COBRA. If you have a health savings account, ask about it. Ask about it for out-of-pocket health care expenses. Right? Get the contact information for your 401k just in case you need to touch it. I don't recommend it at all, but there may be a need for it if you are in bad a bad financial position. But those are the seven things that I wanted to leave you guys with if you were in a situation or if you find yourself in a situation where you end up getting laid off and so forth. Those are the seven steps, guys. Get in contact with your HR. Know who you need to talk to. Understand what your employer's federal EIN number is, the employment identification number. They call it a FIN, F-E-I-N or E-I-N Contact your insurance, your company about the COBRA insurance. Contact them about your 401k, right? Go down to your unemployment office or visit the website to figure out the documentation that you're going to need and go through it, guys. Go through it. Go through it. Now I want to transition on to something a little bit more positive. (laughs) I, I said this 